So this is a Lego Tenskritty. I don't know what it's called, Tenskritty. But if you look at it, it looks like it's impossible, right? Because it's like just being held up by, it looks like it's being held up by these strings. Or if you get some strings that are very hard to see, then it looks like it's just floating. I mean, it is pretty cool, right? So let me show you how it works, and then I'll show you how to build it, and then I'll show you a different version, okay? So let me take this one apart. Okay, so I've actually disconnected the two back strings. And so now you can see that it's really just hanging in this one string. But there you see what happens. So it, since the center of mass is higher than the, the pivot point down here, it's just going to tip over. Okay, so watch. This is tips over. But you'll notice which way it tips over. The center of mass for this is on this side, and that's very important. Because if it's on this side, it's going to tip this way. So these two strings can pull down and keep it from tipping over. And that's the key. Okay, some people will make them with strings on all four corners. That's fine, too. Uh, but if you do that, it's going to be much harder to set up. Because you have to have these strings the right length, right? Or it'll tip over. Let's see? Okay, so let's build another one from scratch. And I don't even know if it's going to work. Okay, but this one, let me show you it's these kind of pieces are harder to find you can see i just kind of cobbled it together with whatever i could make work but i want to make a little bit simpler version okay i assume that you've played with lego before and the key to playing with lego is that if you try to do something exact exactly like someone else is really tough you need exactly the right pieces and that's what those kits are for so in this case i'm going to just kind of wing it i've, I've already picked some pieces out um and so what i want to do is make a, a base with two arms sticking out so i'm going to start this is my base and these are my two arms these have holes in them and i'm going to use those holes so i'm just going to stick these like that and now it, it it's going to pop off really easily if i don't support this from the top so i'm going to put another piece right there See, so I got that. Now I want to build up uh, something tall. So I just have these two by two bricks like that. And I'm going to put this like that. See? Now I want to test, right? Because I, I want this to be at least close to the center mass. In this case, this is leaning back that way. I think that's what I want, but we'll, we'll play with it. And actually, through the miracle of science, I've already made another one. See, I have two. So then I can just... Put this on. This is key. These little things right here are going to be super important because that's how I'm going to attach the strings. Um, I have another one. Actually, put it right here. I think it's going to need to go on this side. This one is not the same thing, but don't care. Oh, and there is one other trick. I'm going to use these two things. Okay. Actually, now I need some string. I have my string right here. Let me get my uh, my scissors. Okay, so now we need to attach them. I've actually preemptively cut. I made one loop, and I'm going to use this to hold the two things together. And then I cut two pieces of string, and I tied one loop on each one so that I could connect one end like that. And I cut them with my MacGyver Season 1 Swiss Army knife. See that? Okay. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is hang this on that at the end, and then I can just hang this one. See? And now you see what happens. It wants to tilt this way. So I want to attach a string from here to there. So I'm gonna take my string, and I'm gonna loop it. I got a loop already there, so I can just hook it on. And then I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna twist it around. Oops. Now you see the problem with these kind of pieces. Don't tie it too tight. This very fragile. It's a French word. Fragile. It means it's going to break. So just be very gentle. That's the nice thing about using the, the nicer pieces. Okay, so I'm going to go up here. And it does. This is tricky. And I'm going to loop it around. Now I'm going to come over here and instead of tying it, I'm going to take my Lego piece and put it on top, and that will kind of seal the deal, if you will. Now, that one's fixed. 
I can come around to this side. I have a feeling it's going to fall and I'm going to be upset. Loop over. See, okay, I'm gonna fix it and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I did it. Okay, so I cheated. Actually, it looks pretty nice, huh? So one thing that this piece was not, uh, this was pulling and breaking these bricks. So I put a piece of tape on them. Oh, that's cheating? No, it's not cheating. And no one says you have to only use Lego stuff. Okay, uh, and then I wrap this around and then I bring the string over here and I put a Lego piece to hold it down. That way you don't have to tie it because it's kind of hard to tie with one hand. And there you go. That one's pretty easy. I like that one. So, but again, make your own, okay? Play with it. Doesn't have to be the same color. Doesn't have to be the same way. Use your creativity and build something. Make it really big, make it small. That's what's fun. That's what's so fun about Lego. Okay. I'll see you guys later.